Hello, Paul Hamilton here. We're going to make this uh, great AR snow globe um, with some little characters in between. So I'm going to take you through the Keynote and also the AR Maker part of it. So let's get started. Jump into Keynote. Uh, just a white blank one is really great. You can see I've done a little bit of preparation. I'll get rid of my text boxes and I'm going up to my three dots and going down to Document Settings. And I want to make this a square canvas because we're going to export this as a square image. I've got a couple of little characters already there that I've drawn uh, with my Apple Pencil, so I won't go through that. This one, the wizard has kind of a, a lowered uh, transparency uh, when I'm drawing. Um, but what I'm going to do here is show you the globe part so that we can wrap this globe image around. So I've gone to a website called Pixels um, and I've got an image um, of some glass. And I'm just going to bring that in. You can go to any kind of royalty free um, images that you're allowed to use. And here it is here. I've got my snow globe. Now at the moment, this slide's got a white background and this image is, a, is at 100% opacity. So what I want to do is kind of make it fill the slide. And then I want to hit my paintbrush up the top and I want to change the transparency of that image down to about 30%. That way I can see my characters uh, in the middle of my kind of globe. So I've brought that right down. That's looking really good. Um, I also need a little globe holder. So what I'm going to do is just get a a yellow shape, rectangular shape, and I'm going to kind of place that at the bottom. And that's going to fill a cone shape in AR Maker, so I don't need to fill up the whole slide. So I might make that yellow. You can make it black. You can play around with the different colors. And the last thing that I need to do is I need to make each of my slides have a transparent background, which is the most critical point. Um, so we're going to go up to each of these slides not click on the shape or the image, just click on the paintbrush and make it a no fill transparent background. It will look black, but it's actually transparent. You can see how this one changes dramatically. I won't be able to see my characters too well because they're black and they're on black. But you can see there I'm doing a no fill. And that means when I export these slides as images, um, I'm just gonna get the characters and I'm just gonna get the things that I actually need. So if I hit my three dots at the top and I export, I need to check a couple of things. I'm going to press images and I'm going to make sure these two little things down the bottom include builds and transparent backgrounds with PNG. I can change what slides I want to export, but I'm just going to export all of them. That's a crucial part. Make sure you get that right, everyone. Save the four images to my camera roll. Um, so they automatically go to my camera roll and I can jump in AR Maker and let's start a blank document. Uh, we're looking for our plane on the ground. Obviously, it works better with some patterns, not so great here, but anyway, we'll do our best. And then I'm going to tap on the plane, and I'm going to go to New. And the first one I'm going to do is go down to the bottom and do the cone. So I'll select the cone and then the folder on the left. Then I'm going to go to my yellow one. So this is, see how it doesn't fill? It's going to be the perfect holder because it doesn't fill right up to the top of my image. Beautiful little globe holder. Then I'm going to go to new and let's see if we can bring in our sphere. So down the bottom is the sphere shape, folder on the left, and let's look for our glass. And if I tick the ticky box and place it, you can see um, I can place it. And then underneath place down there, I can raise my globe up by hitting the up and down arrows on the right and tilting my iPad. And you can see there that it's transparent. So I can kind of see through it. It gives me that kind of snow. I'm also going to put a little rotation on it. Once I place it, I can animate it. And then it's a simple case of not going to shapes, just going straight to my folder on the left and bringing in my two characters that are sitting in my camera roll. And this takes a little bit of fiddling. Um, I probably should have made my globe a little bit bigger, but you'll see that it kind of cuts in and out because it's kind of dealing with multiple images and multiple layers. Um, but now it's just a case of resizing and positioning and getting our characters in the right spots. So once again, I'm just not pressing a shape down the bottom, just going straight to my camera roll and placing in my characters and it's starting to look really great. You can see the transparency of the glass looks really, really good. And then you can start to play around with some different things. You can record your scene for your teachers or the other kids, or you can start to actually play around with lighting. So this is a pretty boring background, but if you actually put it kind of in a darkened room with some light and a torch kind of flashing from the back, you're gonna get a beautiful effect. Hope you found this useful. Paul Hamilton signing off.